Hello ladies and gentlemen, Great Taz here once again, but today we're not going to see a replay, well at least in this video. Um, as you can see here, I am currently in my garage. Now to put this even quicker, I am on the uh, central test or test server one. Um, now there are two of these test servers, um, as you can see here. Uh, there are some minor changes that um, I would like to uh, go over. Now the field office, I think, is for the test server only. Um, I have been in here, and it gives you a bunch of notifications about stuff that has come up or has already gone through. As you can see, common test notification. Um, all the way down to 917.1 notification here. Um, now, if this, I don't know if this will come to live. Um, I'm just showing you here as on the common test um, server one and, and show you that it is here and you can look back on other com te common tests. All right. Um, the training center, as is still in on live, just the same. Uh, there is boot camp. I'm not going to enter it. Um, I already completed it, so I'm not going to run through that. Everyone should already know that pretty well. And then, of course, your exit and your back to game and, of course, your settings. Now, there are a couple new settings in here. Um, I have to find them again. Um, controls. Under controls, there is a new, because of the new campaign missions, you can view the progress in the battle um, that is going to be currently starting with your N key. Uh, that is going to be the key that is going to be, you can change that within your controls. All right. Also, in your settings, you are going to see a new tab under your battle notification. You got your fire indicator, your battle events, your log, your map border, and then your progress for personal missions. Now, you can turn on the standard type, is, as you see here in the screen right here, um, which displays all, currently is displaying all of them, progress ones and regular one, uh, and your regular one. Uh, your tier or, or campaign two missions will look like this. Your campaign one missions are going to look like this. Now, you can turn them off by don't display them. All right, display all will display. When you hit the key, it will display your mission that you are in now another nice thing that i haven't got to in this is um the campaign missions they're broke up differently this time um if you watch some other people they've gone over some of the campaign mission stuff and now um quickie baby did the review of 1.1 um test server overall uh I, um i will add a quick link to here to find right to direct you right to his video that way you can uh, go ahead and see what quickie baby has to say and get some of his information um, but back to this so you're you got two separate campaigns now like campaign one has four vehicles you can go through um, and then campaign only has two only has three I will get to that in a minute and show you a little bit about the campaign stuff um, but uh, other people are going to go into more detail of that and Quickie Baby being the big one. All right, I just want to go over to some of the thematics that a lot of people tend to not look at when they do reviews of upcoming patches. Um, uh, again, in the personal mission, uh, progress for personal missions, you can just do display all, which is you're going to be campaign one and your campaign two missions, or you can just do the progress only ones, which are going to just show up right here which are going to be mostly your campaign too all right i and we'll go there uh we will go back to the game we will get out of here by going to garage now one of the other things that's changing with um 1.1 is as you can see here's the missions uh um, on mission tank 11 and, and alliance one now that's that's a part of what the campaign differences is um in the first campaign uh four tanks it's broken down by class um in the second campaign it's broken down into groups by nations 
So you can do battles. You can do all your alliance and just all five classes of tanks for Americans if you have all five classes, which is really nice. Um, I will get further into that in a moment. But as you can see up here, we have our standard tow bar on the top. All right, nothing's changed there. Got your random battles, your stronghold battles, your team battles. Um, during rank season, you'll have rank season special battles and stuff like that. You can still create a platoon. All right, nothing new there. The difference is, is now, instead of just the store tab, you also have a depot tab. Okay, and this is where the big change of the store and depot has come. You do not need to go into the store to get to the depot. All right, so you can just click right on the depot and sell your stuff from right there. Now, inside the store and the depot have changed. It is a new loadout. Now, as you can see, this loadout will show you a bunch of different. This is your premium accounts. You can see your premium vehicles you can buy here and special packages. Soviet armor you can buy, you know, for here you can buy the KV-122. Now, this is on the test server. Um, KV-122 and the IS-6 for 2,600 gold. Um, it's a discounted. All right, and then you can scroll through here, and these are just basically the specials that are going on. Now, you can go and find more, of course, on the website. Now, gold. You can also purchase gold via inside the game, and it will charge without having to go to the uh, premium shop. Right inside the game, you can buy your gold. All right. Same thing with your premium account like we've seen before. Now, this is the best of everything. This is the best purchases you can do. Now, each thing's broken down again. Like you said, there's gold. Here we have a premium account, and you can do premium account this way, or you can do premium account that way. What the heck is this? Oh, hey, you can get one day of premium account and four um, uh, additional crew experience battle um reserves four of them so that's cool all right and then this shows you some more well, this one can get you the germany starter kit which gets you the uh gross tractor the gross tractor all right and then there's other things in here like russian starter kit um no limits you know, a bunch of little different kits and your basic offers down here in the bottom without going to the premium shop, per se. All right. Now, here you got your vehicles again. We're going to see some of our vehicle special offers. The 3485, the Soviet Russian, the Soviet Strike Team, Land Lease, um, which is Russian, and then the Close Support, which is a, a mixture of uh, different tanks. And then you got all your tanks right here with the, col the gold costs. All right. Now... Your service equipment, um, your service tab, which is your wrench and hammer, um, is going to be your consumables, your equipment, your consumable, your purse reserves, and directives. All right. So you can go in here and you can buy bundles like steel a wall, wall of steel. That that gives you steel, basically the best setup for steel wall. Uh, it gives you the freaking um, rammer, gun lay drive, and a heavy spall liner. And you know, there's other ones like the front line. Um, and uh, gun lane drive, the aiming device, and, uh, vents, and it gives you different prices. And then you can come down here and uh, go all right out, right out, all the way down, and go out and get each individual item. As you also at the very bottom, you can get to your bond equipment. Also, now consumables, very similar. You can buy bundle packages. You can show all bundles. There's more than just what's here. This shows you all the bundles that are available. All right. And then, like, this is just the basic grouping. And then you got your basic consumables down here on the bottom, which is your standard consumables and just like everything else. Now, personal reserves. You can buy your personal reserves right in-game with using gold 
just like you can anything else. And then there's a whole uh, section for buying stuff with your directives. All right. Um, this takes a little bit of time because it's loading from... Uh, I'm in the United States and it's loading from the European server, so it takes a moment. But here's here's um, some, and then you can click these uh, filters and it will filter things down even further. Um, here it gives you some basics. If you want uh, to improve your uh, firepower, if you want to just improve uh, your survivability, um, you can add these things. These are improve your survive items that are considered to improve your survivability. Here's items that you consider to improve your um, mobility, your spotting, and stealth concealment. Oh, well, your concealment, and then of course your stealth or your spotting. I said that backwards, but anyways. And then there's a whole section for just your bond sections. So. Um, you can buy directives and, and equipment, as you can see here. A um, bunch of different bundles. Of course, you can click the bundles list and get all kinds of bundles. So, that is basically uh, an overview of your shop uh, or your store. All right. Now, the depot, like I said, is very similar. Right now, I. I don't. When you first open it, I when I first opened it on here, I had four or five items in here that I could sell, and these items are basically items that are display uh, displays modules and shells that are not compatible with your current vehicles in your garage. So that's that's before you had to go and click a bunch of little tabs. Now you got one quick tab, and you can go. Okay, all these items are not compatible with any of my vehicles. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sell them all, and it makes it quicker and easier to sell stuff. Um, then you have your regular list, that um, your full list. There, I don't see any filters in here. Um, as of right now, uh, hopefully they will add filters um, because I know I got a crap ton of stuff for a crap done ton of nations. Hopefully they will uh, add a filter, but you can go to equipment. Here's all the equipment. I have some of this stuff sitting in garage extra. All my consumables, uh, all in one tab. Again, this is kind of like it was before. I mean, the all is everything. Your equipment, mod consumables, modules. It's self-explanatory. And then your shells. So everything, it, they give you everything, and then they break it down into the, the merger sections. You can do vehicles here. This is what they need um, on this. Uh, especially when it comes to modules, they need a filter for modules. Maybe work somebody from Wargaming will see this video and go, "Hey, yeah, you know what? Great Taz is right. We do need a filter for modules because it will make it a lot easier for people to find. Oh, that tier seven gun for the French. Um, even if you could break it down into modules and then break it down into um, like turret, gun, track, radio, you know." And the equipment piece um, that we put on our tanks. So there's five pieces. Maybe they could put modules and then under that put five little groupings or put a whole filter for just nations or put a filter for both. Goodness only knows. Um, here's your tanks. Uh, and these are all my vehicles in my garage. Yes, I have 163 of them. Um, it's a few. And then it's showing your rental ones too, which... Um, you know, I don't have any more. There's the uh, the medium tank five, the PZ four K tier five, um, and the uh, IS three A scorpions in here somewhere. Um, the forty five oh three, and it shows you all your. There's a scorpion, and the fifteen A. The AT-15A, so all of her. Some of the graphics aren't fully loaded because they don't have the KV-2R in here, which they should, but that's all right. And then we come down here to your personal reserves. So you can sell your personal reserves. If you got 500 of one personal reserve and you really don't want to, you could sell them. Well, maybe you can't sell them. You can activate them. Can't sell them. 
Sorry, I lied. This is kind of goofy way to be able to set it up when you can just do this from before. Uh, I don't know why they added this in here. Um, uh, to me, it's a little more than needed, but it is what it is. So you can also come into your depot and activate your personal reserves. Or you can just click your name and activate your personal reserves. Anyways, all right, let's go back to the garage. That is the new uh, new store and depot look. Um, that is the way things are looking now. Uh, now, this is the test common test server. I would say 90% of everything you see here will come to attrition, will come through. Um, there, there's always that chance, like I said, 90%. There's like a 10% chance that, yes, what you see here will be changed. Um, and I do think the depot personal reserves thing should be changed, should be removed, because I don't really think you need a second way to get to it. But hey, now you have a second way to get to it to activate your reserves. All right. Um, now on to point number two, as I said I was going to do. Um, we're going to look at the campaigns. All right. Campaign map has not overly changed. You still have your first campaign. Uh, as you can see, I've not finished the T-55A. And there you can see what I need. And I haven't even started the Object 6. 260 because I haven't finished the 55A. Know what I mean, Vern? All right. Now here we go. Is the X uh, is the campaign two? I'll call it missions. As you can see, it's broken down into four groupings. Where this one was broke down to five groupings, so you had a chance to get five female crew members. Now the new one, you only have a chance to get four female crewmen, and everything's broke down into uh, a grouping of nations. You got the Union, you got the Bloc, you got the Alliance, you got the Coalition. All right. And if you hover over the uh, when you get in here, if you hover over the each individual thing, you will see what it is. Here, the Union is the Russia and China, and you can also see it up here. Uh, here, the block is Japan and Germany, or the Axis. Um, here, you have the Alliance, which is America, British, and Poland. Okay, whatever. And then you have the Coalition, which is French, Czechs, Swedes, and Italians. Okay, if they say so. And as you can see, they're broken down. Um, the graphical screen, the the overall is identical. All right, you have your numbers one through 14, 15, and you can go through each and every one of them. You can't do fifteen until you unlock fourteen, um, and you can't do two until you complete one so just like the first ones you can't do now differences is here this is the alliance hard and demanding labor complete the primary object condition for unlimited number of battles uh, progress 0 of 20 destroy 20 enemy vehicles you get a times 2 bonus progress acceleration complete the secondary condition to earn two times increase in progress for the completion of the primary condition. Okay, your secondary or with honors can completed be completed five times, which will help you speed up through this if you can complete this. Complete the secondary condition, the indicated number of times, 05. You can cause 3,000 damage to with honors. Now, some of these... Uh, Quickie Baby went over these in more of a review in his 1.0 um, review, and it tells you a little bit more about them. Again, uh, I just hit the card that I sent up earlier, and uh, these are these are progressive. These it it's not all at one fell swoop in, in um, the first missions. The second missions are per battle. Okay. Um, or kind of a lot like 
the first mission, the other missions, and this is in in a battle, in one battle. All right. The first ones are over any number of battles, and the third ones, um, I forget exactly what they are, but it's not enabled in the uh, uh, step one of the test server, so uh, maybe uh, another one will come later. But that is basically uh, the gist of things. So um, there's a large difference in the way the campaigns play out. One is a progressive um, for the Excalibur. It's progressive missions. You can do it over any number of missions. Uh, the um, the Operation, the Crimera, which the Excalibur and the Crimera are both British tanks. Um, they In the Crimera, it's everything in one mission. Everything has to be done in one mission. All right. And then, of course, you got the object 279, which I'm not 100% sure. I'm not remembering how that goes. And uh, this has already gotten a very winded video. So I'm not going to hold anybody up much any longer. Um, I just wanted to get this information out there because I I've been watching a lot of the reviews. And even Wargaming doesn't really go into a lot of... Um, information about the new store depot setup um the big thing they are all on to is the great and wonderful where is it polish tech tree all right that's what everybody's concentrating on this right here your polish tech tree i wanted to give you a little bit of something a little bit different and i hope it gets you um that little bit of extra information that you wanted or that little bit of extra information that you needed to know exactly what you needed. So with that, this is Great Taz saying, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you didn't, that's all right. Go ahead and give it a thumbs down if you feel it deserves one. If you're not a subscriber, please go ahead and click the subscription button down here in your lower right-hand corner, right below this, the uh, video here, and come back because I can t plan to continue to do this as much as possible um, or as long as the good Lord will allow me um, and my finances, <laughs> and as long as nothing else comes along in my life and takes up more time. Um, <laughs> I'm very sitting on very little time as we as I am so but that's another thing um if you want need a comment or question go ahead there's a whole comment section I I do read the comments um when I get to see get to them and see them I don't always get right back to them every the next day but I will um respond I do read them and uh, I am glad that everyone does that leaves a comment does leave a comment and uh I keep saying and the uh, Maybe that's one of my little things. That and yawning. But anyways. Ladies and gentlemen. Once again. It was a pleasure. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you soon. Hopefully. In the world of tanks. This is Great Taz signing off.